Hello for everyone. Uh, today I want to show you uh, how to connect uh, this speaker to uh, cam to your home assistant and monitor uh, the place uh, where you want. Uh, first of all, I want to explain uh, how it I'll be using it. Uh, so. Uh, in our house uh, we have a uh, water boiler and um, that boiler is on the attic. Uh, on the attic uh, I can't uh, go every time so I can't um, monitor is there uh, hot water enough or uh, not. So I decided to put uh, there the phone. Uh, the phone uh, uses IP webcam. Uh, uh, software um, app uh, so I uh, through the network through Wi-Fi uh, monitored the, the level of uh, hot water on the boiler uh, but uh, there was one problem uh, the phone was old and the battery was so uh, old and uh, the phone was uh, connected to the charger uh, all the time uh, so uh, after about uh, a year of using it uh, successfully, I saw that uh, on my home assistant uh, uh, IP webcam is not working and not sending any sensors uh, information. So, so uh, I looked at uh, the phone and uh, you see that uh, the phone is broken. Uh, uh, the phone was broken because uh, the phone battery was bloated uh, and it um, and it pushed the LCD screen and uh, just um, broke it. So uh, today I decided uh, uh, to use uh, ESP32 cam. Uh, to connect it uh, to home assistant and uh, monitor uh, water level on uh, my uh, water heater, water boiler. So, okay, let's start. So, for that project you need, uh, of course, ASP32 cam. It looks like this. And also you need uh, USB to TTL adapter with some jumper wires with female both female and uh, cable to connect it uh, to computer uh, so from uh, hardware part uh, that's it so from software side uh, I assume that you already have a home assistant installation and uh, you have uh, installed ASP home uh, uh, extension to your home assistant installation. So uh, uh, that's all what you need from software and we will be flashing um, uh, ASP cam with ASP home extension. Uh, I will connect uh, my uh, ESP cam to my server, uh, so uh, to my home assistant server and uh, flashing uh, just from here, from that interface, uh, directly to ESP cam. So to program your uh, ASP32 cam, uh, first of all you need to connect uh, jumper wires to your USB TTL adapter, uh, TX, RX, uh, VCC and ground. Make sure your jumper is on 5 volts and uh, here you can connect uh, um, blue wire. I have connected uh, that I will connect uh, to my home assistant server later. So uh, now you have to connect uh, ground to ground. 
ground uh, now is this wire so this wire goes to ground ground uh, we have uh, in several places but we will connect here ground and um, uh, 5 volts VCC um, black wire in our case goes to 5 volts 5 volts and um, Rx goes to uh, Tx and Tx goes to Rx here so now we have connected but uh, also you need another jumper wire there are three wires but I'm using only one wire uh, I will be using black wire uh, one side I will connect to ground and the other side I will connect to GPO zero this is it so uh, later I will connect also uh, DHT 11 uh, temperature and humidity sensor but uh, about it later a little bit so now we are ready to connect uh, our device to home assistant server and uh, flash it so here we have uh, uh, ASP home interface in our home assistant uh, installation and now we have pressed uh, some plus sign and here we uh, add the name of our device and uh, now uh, we will add the uh, Wi-Fi SSID of our network and uh, the network password and uh, after that uh, we just press next button and uh, press connect button just select ESP32 press next and configuration created ok closing that and now we have uh, added device boiler cam name and uh, we can press edit and here uh, we will copy our configurations for uh, I think your camera from sphome.io uh, here are uh, other configurations for other uh, devices with uh, camera uh, but we need uh, I think a camera for our device so we just uh, copy that and uh, uh, paste it here in our conf configurations of device Uh, we can change the name uh, to our name I will name it boiler cam and save it now we press the button to validate our configuration if we see uh, green uh, check uh, boxes so our configuration is okay and now I press uh, install button and uh, we can uh, need to choose uh, uh, plug into this computer because I uh, I will plug uh, my device to this computer what uh, which uh, I am using now not uh, to the uh, home assistant server and when we connect and press uh, this we choose the serial po uh, com port which is connected our device and press to connect and now we see connecting and installing it, it will take two minutes uh, 
but uh, the process is fast so I will forward uh, that video so the installation is complete configurations installed into our device we press close and now we can uh, integrate our device into home assistant we see that our boiler cam now online uh, we just uh, disconnect that and uh, uh, disconnect uh, the TX and RX wires and uh, GPIO 0 to ground disconnect that wire and just leave uh, 5 volts and ground so when we uh, installed our device we see that uh, our boiler cam is discovered by uh, a home assistant and we can press just configure button and um, press apply button to integrate our ESP32 camera so here in that uh, we can uh, just uh, create a new area which is our attic I just name it attic in Lithuanian and just press the button so here are our device the boiler cam we can see that entity boiler cam and now we just need to integrate it um, into our home assistant interface so now I've added um, uh, another sensors to this device so I've added a binary sensor with platform status uh, which shows um, our camera status and uh, added switch uh, which is which turn on the lighting of the cam uh, LED uh, also text uh, sensor which shows uh, ASP home version uh, and sensors uptime sensor Wi-Fi signal strength uh, sensor also added a DHT11 uh, sensor to GPIO2 uh, connected um, wire to GPIO2 and 3.3 uh, volts plus uh, uh, ground uh, wire to ground and uh, now uh, uh, my ASP cam also shows the temperature and humidity so on our camera I uh, in uh, Lovelace UI I've added also the button for light uh, to turn uh, on and off and uh, other sensors so I will show you how it looks like um, uh, when I press edit button so here are uh, all the sensors uh, added to the picture glance um, UI um, boiler uh, humidity sensor temperature lighting uh, button uh, and uh, camera entity uh, to show live video uh, for the camera so here uh, how it looks like so uh, now we connected the uh, ESP32 cam to our home assistant installation and uh, now I can see the water level of my uh, water heater so uh, thank you for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video uh, please uh, remember, don't forget uh, to subscribe this channel and bye bye